Well, hello everyone. Jim Wilkerson here with the James Milliken Homestead, and we have a very special guest for you today. Artist Thomas Melvin from Chicago is visiting with the homestead today, and he did a lot of work in this home, and uh, Tom's going to tell us a little bit about that and, uh, and, and what he does. Uh -huh. Tom, welcome back to the homestead. Well, thank you, Jim. It's uh, so great to be back. Uh, of course, I've been back and forth many times, as Jim said. Um, I think I was first here back in the early 90s. Um, and, uh, oh my, you know, we began, uh, we began with the dining room. But uh, I've, uh, I've been a decorative artist and a muralist in Chicago uh, since the late uh, 70s and uh, have my own company there. And uh, uh, I was uh, called one day by uh, Lucian Cap. I believe it was, uh, or, or else Robert Furhoff, uh, who were at that time involved in uh, the early the early stages of really trying to restore the, the beauty of this mansion, and uh, uh, had already uh, Robert Furhoff was a specialist in color analysis and uh, and in Victorian times in general and. Uh, he recommended my services, I believe, to, to, to Lucian Cap, uh, who in turn called me and asked of my interest in reproducing the uh, dining room uh, canvases, uh, which had been found in the attic here, and I came down to meet Lucian. We went up to the attic, and there, in fact, they were, and we unrolled them and, you know, agreed that it really wasn't salvageable as a... Uh, as it was, that it might be best just to recreate them, which is what uh, my team did, myself and uh, artists at the studio in Chicago, after taking measurements of, of the uh, oh, location, yeah. all the different coves of the dining room, and then, uh, and then we had the old canvases to really map out very precisely the uh, former layout of the, of the dining room canvases, which are uh, a trompe l'oeil sort of arbor scene with grapes hanging overhead. Um, now and you, that was the beginning. Now you've done a lot of places. Oh. Uh, see, uh, uh, ceiling work, wall work. What was your favorite to do? Do you uh, have a favorite? Oh gosh, I, I don't think I do. Um, they, you know, they all, uh, were enjoyable experiences, each of them. Um, the um, the snowball room was a fun one to paint. Upstairs, the so-called yeah. snowball room, one of the uh, uh, side bedrooms. Uh, and uh, but um, really, you know, from the get-go, it's it's been uh, a wonderful experience to you know to work in the house and to well and, and frankly, you know, to imagine and to recreate. The, uh, uh, this level of ornament in this beautiful, beautiful house. Um, Do you, you know, remember? Uh, I mean, there already were murals in the house, uh, the, notably most, uh, the Holloway mural on the s ceiling of the stairwell. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then, of course, we had photo evidence of this, of the, uh, of what we've been referring to as Anne's, Anne Milliken's bedroom, currently, although perhaps it was the master bathroom, bedroom. Um, we have that uh, in photo evidence. We have photos that show the uh, dining room. We have a photo that showed this hallway, uh, albeit just in part, from which we could get an idea, albeit yeah. in black and white, of the form of the decoration. Okay. But all these things sort of shaped my uh, imagining of what to paint. Uh, color was, you know, kind of up to discussion and, and, uh, and thanks to Lucian and Brigitte and other folks who contributed their ideas, we, this is where we've ended up in, in, in here. Um, we were allowing room for the Co wonderful collection of paintings that the, the ho that are housed here. Uh, so in these panels and in the available spaces. So 
that determined something about the design. Um, the ceilings in here were done at a later date uh, and uh, were an invention of mine to suit the setting. Um, and so that they, you know, and then they, they have a combination of technique of hand painting and stenciling um, in both cases, the walls and the ceiling here. We did the, um, we did the parlors as well early on. I think that came after the, uh, the dining, room. dining room and those were done directly on site. They're very subtle, just uh, uh, some painting of roses on the ceiling and a soft okay. lens in the sky. So the, the, the parlors were done on site, but the dining room, did you do that on site or was that done in the, the studio? The, that was done on, on canvas in the studio, the studio and then okay. we brought it here and applied it as a wall covering to the ceiling. Okay. And it's trimmed in, uh, yes, you wouldn't know. I mean, it looks as if it's painted directly yeah. on the ceiling. Yeah, you can't tell. Um, these walls in this central hallway uh, were done here on the wall directly. There's a combination of flat painting directly and stenciling here. And the ceilings were, were canvases done in the studio. The parlors were painted directly here. Um, there's work in the, in the um, a small bathroom that was added to the house at some late date, uh, but yeah. uh, not too late, uh, but anyway, and, and that was off the library. I think you said the bathrooms were the last thing you did. They were one of the last things I was here doing. The, the, uh, Just a few years ago. And then in between them, the Ann, Ann, Ann's bedroom upstairs, and the snowball room was a separate contract. Um, okay. The upper stairwell was a separate contract as well. Um, the stenciling and the upper hallway were all one, one fell swoop. Uh, um, again, uh, we had nothing to go on with that, but we felt that we just, if we'd gone this far here, <laughs> we'd keep going upstairs. And, trying, to, and, uh, trying to match what you've done yeah. elsewhere a little bit. And, and, and certainly, uh, you know, you know, had the Millikans wished they they may have taken it this far, or maybe they, you know, they they didn't, you know. But they yeah. certainly, uh, with that uh, Halloway mural up on the ceiling there, I mean, they certainly were, you know, embellishing the house at that mm -hmm. point. And there were other aspects that were already here too: the art glasses uh, in the transoms and uh, uh, and the etched glass of the principal doorways of the hallway. Um, those were all here in the dining room as well, there's glass. Um, yeah, there's a funny story. The, the deer head was yeah. in a photos uh, of old. I think one of these here even shows it, yeah. All right, one oh, here. One of these photos right on the... Yeah, um, and of course it's not the original. It's hard to see uh, probably in the... In there, but uh, shows the deer head right up there. It might show it pretty well, and then you can see in this photo the the way that the panels are painted on the wall. This mm -hmm. one here, some of the design, right? And then the uh, you, what you don't see is necessarily this border that I added, uh, but you do see the indication of some frames around. Uh, panels that might have been mounted on the wall. Okay. So rather than paint those Italianate sort of panels on separate panels, we decided to put our ornament right on the wall. Now, Thomas, I, I want you to try to think back when you first stepped in, the first time you walked into the home. Yeah. Do you remember what your first impression was, what you were thinking, or? Hmm. How does this, well, uh, this compare to other projects you've done? Well, you know, this is, uh, you know, I, I have done other uh, restoration type projects, uh, most notably uh, Lewis Sullivan's um, church in Chicago. Uh, there was a very elaborate stencil and gilding project there. And we were in there for many weeks. 
Right. Maybe in, I can get a photo century. and I'll put it in the video. So yes, I could see. I could show you something from that, and uh, and it's on my website, I believe. And uh, um, and then I've done other uh, similar uh, residential works uh, uh, on canvas sometimes and sometimes on site. But um, when I first walked in here, gosh, I uh, hmm. Well, of course. The, the whole Millican place uh, is quite a surprise, what with the Frank Lloyd Wright houses and, the, and the, um, all along the block, yeah. right next to this property, and then getting to know the history of the area and, and of course, getting to know Brigitte and Lucian was all just a wonderful experience. And, uh, um, and they were so great in their confidence that I would could do, you know, the, all this work um, and uh, uh, and so that's the whole the whole you know of course the house was you know I loved old houses and 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 and, and the detailing and one of the things that first attracted me to to uh, my business that I ended up creating was really my love of of handwork and craftsmanship and and um, which, you know, now kind of gets classed as the commercial trades, you know, in a way. But, of course, we have no near this level of ornament being put mm -hmm. in buildings these days. Yeah. Um, it's all, uh, you know, technology taking over and replacing. And, and nor can we even get the lumber to build a house like this anymore. Yeah. As easily, you know. Uh, be very cost yeah, about very costly to it, 100 times more. <laughs> to, to work with these woods again yeah. and, and uh, to find the craftsman even able to do it um, so there that was you know just remarkable that this house was so well preserved and I think uh, you know the the board and all the folks that have through the years worked on it deserve huge credit it's a big undertaking mm -hmm. yeah and it, it but it's important and I think it's you know, they'll always, hopefully there'll be more folks like uh, Lucian and, and, and the board members who appreciate it and keep it going. Yeah. I know it's everyone's wish to do that. And yeah. uh, we have a lot of projects coming up. Like I, I spoke to you earlier, our tower is yeah, something that we're going to Yeah, and that's important. To, we don't want that to collapse on us or to, you know, to leak. Yeah. I know yeah. you got the roof solved and, and, uh, yeah. and the ironwork back is marvelous. It's yeah. great to see. Um, yeah, no, it's great to see it all again. Looking forward to talking to everybody about it here. Thomas, uh, we want to thank you again for your time here. Um, oh, no, it's been great. I'd like to give you an opportunity. If someone wants to know more about your studio or get oh, in yeah. contact with you, how do they do that? Well, uh, just call me up. Uh, I'm in Chicago, uh, and uh, my phone number uh, is, is on the website. It's just thomasmelvin.com. Um, the email is there as well, uh, and uh, but don't you know? I like the old, just the old phone call. That's yeah. terrific. You know, <laughs> I often miss these emails, and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, hard to keep up sometimes. But, uh, awesome, awesome. That's, that's right. Well, we wish you the best. Yeah, and I'm working actually still at uh, right now at Holy Trinity Cathedral in Chicago. It's a okay. Louis Sullivan's Russian Orthodox Cathedral, and uh, it's a beautiful building, and uh, they. Similarly, have uh, uh, their parish very much involved in maintaining and saving that building. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So, got to keep our history. Yeah, uh, we, we not only yeah. learn from it, but it inspires us to uh, to do. Well, yes, to I mean, do goodness. more. Goodness, exactly. I mean, you're challenged by the you know the level of expertise and beauty mm. that these buildings have, and so. Awesome. Right, right. Well, thanks again, Thomas. Uh, no, no, it's a pleasure to be back and see it. Thanks. Thanks.